So here we have the Ford Cougar on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with tinted windows and alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the coolant temperature gauge and fuel gauge. And then above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for the car. They are 87,783. To the left-hand side of that, it will show you what gear this car is in. Uh, we are in park at the moment. And then above that, we have, at the moment, a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed, although you can change that information using controls on the steering wheel. Uh, for various bits of info, individual trip computer information bits, as you can see, and all the way back round, uh, you can have these four pieces of information displayed simultaneously, and then we're back round to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. We have cruise control and speed limiter beneath that, and then phone and stereo controls over on the right-hand side just here. The phone control can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car. Uh, and that is done uh, using the buttons uh, in this central area just here. Uh, so phone, for example, and then the screen directly above it. So you can see there, it's giving us various options. Um, we are gonna close that screen down at the moment and come back out to the radio menu. This car has got DAB, uh, FM and AM radio available. Every push of the radio button will take you through the different band waves. Uh, we have a CD player. Uh, we've also got uh, USB input and Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And they are all, as I say, accessed here. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. You can see the CD player at the top. Beneath that, uh, we have the buttons that relate to uh, the four buttons across the bottom of the screen. And then our hazard warning lights just there. If I move the gear lever, gear lever out of the way for a moment, uh, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. Once you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute. So off, back on again. All hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed, which you can hear it doing, and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away again. Beneath that, we have a heated rear screen, a proper heated front screen, and this button will turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Uh, that button will turn that off, and it's off when that light shows. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The plus and minus button will enable you to change up and down the gear manually should you wish to do that. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.